Uh, Matthew Truhella from Richfield speaking against from Mercy Church. Mercy Mercy Seat. Mercy Seat Church. Welcome. Thank you. You guys will really like me because I'm going to be quick. Um, Hooray. You and my wife have 11 kids, pastor of church, mission to run. She's beautiful. I'm busy. <laughs> so, but I got a few things I'd like to say. We all know what you intend to do here, and that is to spend years creating yet another piece of paper, only to have it trampled by yet another federal court, impugned by yet another Congress, or rolled over by yet another executive order from POTUS. This federal government has spent decades trampling the Constitution, your piece of paper with new words added to the Constitution, or a completely new one, would be trampled yet again as the current Constitution has been trampled. What you are doing here with these bills is designed to give the impression that you are doing something while you are doing nothing. You possess the lawful authority, the right, and the duty to interpose against the federal government now without creating yet another piece of paper. You chance a convention of the states for a mere balanced budget amendment over mere money. We have monetary problems because of our moral problems. This federal government slaughters the preborn, and you bow to it. They pervert marriage and you bend over and take it. And yes, you will submit to their filth and injustice when they declare that boys must be allowed in girls' shower rooms. This federal government picks our pockets and spends massive amounts of money on unconstitutional departments and programs, and yet the states allow them to do it. In fact, the states participate in the plundering. Like a whore, the states have been bought off. The states have acquiesced to this mugging. Yes, you've given up political authority so that you can obtain mere money from the federal beast. Such an arrangement encourages state legislatures to be more interested in doing the bidding of their federal master than they are in doing what is right for the people in the sight of God. What you do here is designed to give cover to that collusion and why we have a federal government that spends unconstitutionally and is out of control. Such treachery is laid plain to many of us here. Such obfuscation is apparent. You belie your duty, gentlemen, by preferring yet another piece of paper. Your duty is to establish and uphold justice in our state. This is your God-given duty. It is a sacred duty. Yet you prefer to create yet another piece of paper. The state of Wisconsin is not to be a mere province of the federal government. The state of Wisconsin is not to be a mere implementation center for unjust or immoral federal law, policy, or court opinion. It is not a mere conduit to dispense federal money. You have a duty to maintain this state's authorities, rights, and liberties. Your duty is interposition. Stop taking the money. Quit recognizing the legitimacy of unconstitutional spending. Quit recognizing the legitimacy of unconstitutional departments, programs, and mandates. End your collusion, which has created the problem for which you now want this convention. As a minister in this state for 29 years now, I wholeheartedly oppose this attempt to make Wisconsin yet another state of fools calling for an Article 5. You plus possess lawful authority. Quit hiding behind this skirt, along with the one of the federal courts have ruled, all we can do is obey, and interpose against the federal government that was long, has long broken the chains which were meant to bind it down. This is what is needed and necessary. Thank you very much for your time. I appreciate it. Well, thank you very much for hanging around. It sounds yeah. like you're very busy, and thanks for taking the time.